Hello everybody, my name is Shiva Ravindra. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss the question number 2, SAS clinical interview topics. Okay, so here I am going to explain how to remember the SGTM laboratory variables. Okay, so how to easily remember all the you know most of the important laboratory SGTM variables. I am going to explain it in this class. Okay. So first of all, uh, subject is came to the clinical trial. So his screening was done. So at the time of screening, so at the time of screening, what they do? So they will collect the blood samples and you know, so they tested whether all the laboratory parameter of the particular subjects are, you know, so met the inclusion and exclusion criteria or not, they will check. Okay, so whether, you know, they are doing some specific therapeutic area clinical trial so that type of inclusion and exclusion criteria related lab parameters are met the you know uh, the condition or not they will check so at the time of screening he will give some blood sample so what the protocol mentioned all the laboratory tests were done to the subject and provided the result so here i am going to show you one crossover study in the crossover study the subject is taking the period one drug and next so some days wash out period then again he will take the period to B drug if the subject is taking a drug in the crossover study he will take the another drug or other drug in the period two then it is a two period study so then check it out end of the study again he is going to give again blood samples why you know so at the initial time of laboratory parameters so we got the result and again at the end of the period also we will get the same parameters we will you know see the results whether any laboratory parameter any uh, you know uh, the par laboratory parameter was affected due to the drug okay we are giving the study drug and the subject is participated in the clinical trial so any laboratory parameter is completely affected so we can rethink about the molecule structure okay so by looking this information so we get some information related to the sgtm laboratory variables so the first variables here you can see so study id what is the study that one so each and every subject number use of jid which domain it is it is a lb domain and here the screening period one period two end of the study so this information we can map into the visit and visit number so we will give some numbering to the specific visit so that is visit number and screening period one period two and end of the studies are the visit information so epoch nothing but either the subject the laboratory uh, parameters were collected at the screening or treatment or end of the study Okay, either follow up okay so the state of the the subject when the laboratory sample was collected so belong to the epoch screening period one period two included as a treatment so then check it out or follow up okay so these three to five variable six variables are mapped in the lb up to now so next coming to here so we collected the laboratory sample and we are going to do some tests okay so what type of test one is hematology just i am showing two tests so these are the tests performed into the hematology related category so one more category is chemistry i am showing here so these are the tests so here i am showing some few sample tests so as per the protocol so many categories so many lab tests were done to each and every subject as per the protocol okay here i am showing two categories and these are the tests we need to perform to the subject so this hematology and biochemistry so we can map in the variable called lab cat lb cat so laboratory category so what are the protocol specific tests included the categories the two tests comes under which category so the categories we can map into the laboratory category so all this one so i take one example rbc is the laboratory test the subject is performed okay they will collect the sample and they will do the rbc analysis okay so first when the sample was collected the date and time and you know so what type of uh, the specimen is collected whether they are taking plasma or blade for the analysis okay so to get the results so what is the uh, the specimen they are using either plasma or 
whole blade they are using okay so next once we done so we will get the value right so by doing some analytical method so what is the rbc count we will get one value okay so the particular value has some units also right so if one other subject you know one other diagnostic center so same rbc count if they are doing in a different method but the value is 6.1 but the unit is also different so here one subject having the different unit another subject has a different unit that may be possible because the sponsor is giving the laboratory samples to multiple diagnostic center so one diagnostic center given one result with one unit another diagnostic center same rbc with one unit number with another unit so what they do so we have to convert by using each and every laboratory parameter we have some conversion factor so we need to convert all the values into si format okay standard units formats we need to convert so what we do so based upon the units they collected so we can use the conversion factor and we need to convert we will get some value so now so this rbc and red blood cells so we need to map lb test cd is the short name lb test is the full name of the particular laboratory so when it was collected the date and time was mapped to the variable called lb dtc date and time character version okay so which type of specimen they are using whether it is a plasma or blood other either so that information was mapped to the variable called lb spec okay so what are the value you are getting by doing the analysis the original value 3.7 is there right here so lb or res or nothing but original res nothing but result lb or res so what are the units you collected in the original value so that variable called lb lab or original resc result you nothing but units okay in another subject they are collected in a different unit so they are also same so one subject uh, the collected units were 3.7 units are 10 to the power of 12 the other subject 6.1 is the value 10 to the power of 9 by l so this is the original value what they collected after conversion all the subject have a unique value a unique uh, units and different values okay so after conversion of this value by using the conversion factor so what is the value you are getting that value you are going to map it as lb st res lb nothing but laboratory st nothing but standard rest nothing but results in a character version so what is the lb st res nothing but numeric version of the results we have to map in the variable called lb st res n and what are the units after conversation what is the si unit is there that unit you have to map it as lb st resu so after conversion what happened this both subject having the 10 to the power of 12 by l unit it's performed so 6.1 is conversion to the some other values because 10 to the power of 9 to 10 to the power of 12 we need to convert okay so we have some reference ranges for each and every laboratory parameter if you see any diagnostic report so the values they mentioned and the left corner they will give you the reference range so this value reference range is 4.3 to 5.6 if the value is 4.83 nothing but it is a normal because the value is between the 4.3 to 5.6 okay so this 4.3 to 5.6 we can map the variable called laboratory or nothing but original normal range low value and normal range high value okay so the 4.3 was mapped to lb or nr lo and lb or nr high 5.6 we need to map okay so lower value and higher value so after conversion also so we have normal ranges that normal ranges we need to map lb str and lo lb st nr high lower value and higher value so here rbc count 3.7 we will get so if based upon the value we are cross checking with the reference range so we can figure it out whether this value is a normal value or low value or high value so here you can see lb nr ind value is there that value is showing nothing but so whether that value low value or high value okay so if your value greater than the normal range higher value it is a high if your value lower than the lower value so that is a low value if the value is between the low and norm high value that is a normal value okay so here 
so many variables you can easily remember in the lb okay so this type of more interesting videos if you want please subscribe my youtube channel thank you so much